Welcome to today's devotional. Our reading is now taking us to the book of Lamentations, chapter 3, and verses 49 to 51. Let's see what Jeremiah the prophet says in this rather sad sometimes book. My eyes flow and do not cease without interruption, till the Lord from heaven looks down and sees. My eyes bring suffering to my soul because of all of the daughters of my city. So this is one thing that Jeremiah did a lot of, and that is praying. And he did a lot of weeping. In fact, he even came to be known uh, as the weeping prophet. And there are different verses and passages. We've looked at some of those in recent time this year, seeing why, just why he was often called the weeping prophet. But one of the things that led to a lot of his weeping is he was interceding for his people. He was praying, including himself, but he was praying for his people. The kingdom of Judah, which had been so unfaithful that God had uh, basically punished them and, and allowed many of, the, many of them to be carried away into captivity in an attempt to let them uh, find their ne the necessity of following him and find a way back to him. So he, this has been one of the most severe chastenings in all of history and Jeremiah had really done a lot of praying and a lot of weeping for his people. You and I are called also, in our day, we're not praying for the kingdom of Judah, but we're just praying for God's kingdom. We're called to pray for the kingdom ourselves, to pray for the people that they'll come to God. And the ones who've come to God, we are to pray for them that we, all the people that come to God will be faithful, that we'll all keep growing, and that we'll shed the junk, shed the crazy uh, teachings that are unbiblical, shed the, the behaviors that are wicked and sinful in favor of the behaviors of following Jesus. And as we shed these things aside, we ourselves become part of the manifestation of God's kingdom. And many times we get it all wrong and, and we, we feel, feel awful. We have disastrously uh, misrepresented the king, but he forgives us and he calls us to go on to the next step and represent Jesus today. Even if we didn't get it exactly right yesterday, pray for forgiveness, sincerely receive the gift of repentance, and today serve the king, be transformed. So what we have here again is my eyes flow and do not cease without interruption. He's talking about a continual intercession, a continual praying, praying for God and praying for the people of God. Sometimes I think we want a quick prayer thing, you know, where this is going, well, this commitment is only going to be about 30 seconds. So I can do it. We're, we're not really, really interested. Some people aren't interested in praying to God if it's going to take more than a minute and a half or more than, more than five minutes. Uh, what if you had to pray an hour a day to be saved? Would you be willing to do that? I don't know that you need to do that, but we should be in a spirit and an attitude of prayer all through the day. I think we need that kind of firm, close connection with God. But at the same time, uh, I don't think some people realize how glorious heaven will be, how glorious it will be to have a uh, a heart that always responds to God and says yes every time, all the time. How glorious it will be to be so harmonized and in communion with him and in communion with, with goodness throughout the universe. So that's part of the gift he's giving us. But it's going to take a lot of intercession, a lot of prayer, prayer for others, prayer for our own hearts. My eyes bring about suffering to my soul because of all the daughters of my city, verse 51. So that's talking again about praying and interceding for, for people. We need to be continuous and determined to pray. We need to pray for hearts and souls that they'll turn to God. That's very important. So uh, it's not going to be a superficial thing. This isn't, you know, a microwavable thing. Christianity is not microwavable. We need to come to God and we need to labor against our own inclinations to draw close to him. Friend, please join me as we pray for the coming of the kingdom. Dear Father in heaven, we want our hearts to be right. Please, Lord, may your kingdom come. And that isn't just a theoretical thing, but when we pray that, we're asking that you will use us in some way, even in some very tiny, tiny, small way. But Lord, may your kingdom come through us and encourage us this day. Help us to be on the path with Jesus, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So be on the path with Jesus today. And the world will have help that it otherwise would not have toward following the Lord God.